y'all guys it's Lexi you see the title you know the vibes I am in New York City I literally just got to my Airbnb it's very nice would y'all like a tour I will give y'all a tour so as soon as you walk in you're in the living room slash little kitchen area I didn't even check the fridge it would have been cool if they left some water or something but uh have this nice little couch it's actually pretty comfy um you know decorations five out of ten nothing is really matching but i'm not here for that got the heater going on because it's like 40 degrees out here got this cute little mirror right here very nice that barely did anything big old tv so i could put on that netflix you did come over here got the bathroom everything is just clean and neat it doesn't look like too old so i'm cool with it come back out to the living room and go to the bedroom um you know nice clean hopefully white sheet got another lamp in here got uh towels and a blanket and more sheets down here here's my stuff from all the trips i've taken you know this is my last destination when it comes to the window not really a view but who's complaining i'm i'm barely being here for real so I just ordered Uber Eats because I'm hungry, it's dinner time. I took the train here from DC to New York City because I I just wanted to experience it, that's it. <laughs> Hopefully this is a good time. It's gonna be a solo dolo type trip for me. I know Grambling, Dallas, and DC, I was with people I know, but that's not the case. I only knew one person who lived out here and now she doesn't live out here anymore. So if y'all are interested in seeing more of what I do out here in New York City, then keep watching. Morning y'all, it's day one in the city. Turn me up. Here go the fit of the day. I don't even want to stop. It's so many people out here. I did not want to stop and really talk to y'all for real. It's not even that cold for real. Walking around, trying to get to Times Square, you know, you gotta be there. It's actually my second time in the city. First time was a very short trip though, so now I really get to explore. And let's see what, what adventures I come up with. Hey yo, people really come to the park to play chips. Got my hot dog. I'm in the park, feeling beautiful day. I'm at this thing called Top of the Rock. I'm so glad I accidentally got an express pass. But I'm glad I did because that line was ridiculous. And I ain't got time. And I deserve a VIP life anyway, so I'm gonna see what the views are looking like. Now I'm on the upper deck. It's supposed to be the highest view, 360 view. A man in a suit waved down a taxi. Like, New York is just TV. Everything I've seen on TV, period. One thing for certain, two things for show. If I would not have brought this, a portable charger with me, the trip would have been over with already. Oh. Trying to buy time. Time is here for. Four or seven. seven. Okay. Oh. Yeah. You have to do what? Oh yeah, I'm, I'm not rich. So I just made it to the edge. Came here, it's like basically the same thing as what I just left from. The top of the rock cut. This one has uh, better views to me because it doesn't have stuff blocking it. But here we are. Which is just like top of the rock, 
come up to 104 or whatever and you see the city. I came here because the top of the rock wasn't giving the views that I wanted for real. Like, it had the little glass that y'all saw, but it had some like barrier at the bottom. So it was blocking like a third or a quarter of the glass. It wasn't giving the pictures that I wanted to give, but don't worry, looking at them, I'm liking what I see from here. Right now it is 17.41, I'm sorry, it's 5.41 p.m. Let me go back to my itinerary. Do y'all like my itinerary? I have my fit of the day on the side. <laughs> I do entirely too much. And then the things that I'm gonna do right there in the middle and the date, like it's so cute. I try to um, spread out the things I'm gonna do every day because I don't wanna, like it depends on what type of vacation I'm taking. Sometimes I do wanna try to jam pack everything, but as of lately, I try to slow things down so I can have time to rest. <laughs> I sound old. So I'ma look for a rooftop restaurant down here. Like I said, the temperature is not too bad. Like I don't think it's the temperature. I think it's the fact that all these tall buildings are blocking wind and wind be the worst part of being cold Day two, I either forgot my camera or the battery was dead. Anyway, outfit of the day, look at me looking cute. I had to go back to the edge because for the city climb, which you're about to see, you could not have any alcohol in your system. They didn't tell me that. And it's a vacation, I was lit. Um, But here's the city climb video, enjoy. Look at me looking cute. It was a very freeing experience, to say the least. We did a forward and backward lane, and I am a daredevil, so I wasn't too scared to do it. Later on, I grabbed something to eat. I honestly forgot the name of this restaurant, but it was good, pizza was good. It was decent views and a cute little vibe. Later on that night, I checked off something from my bucket list. So I'm at my first ever show on Broadway. I'm here to see Tina, the Tina Turner musical. We lit. It's not like I ever forgot that I love the arts, but being at my first Broadway play ever just made me appreciate the arts even more. Like I had a great experience. Then I went out to Times Square. It was cool seeing everything at night, a lot of people out. Of course there were performers and I just had a good time. Then I took the train home. Good morning, y'all. Today is my last day in New York City. I just wanna say that once again, if I already told y'all, I did my own makeup. And if I didn't say it, then yeah, I did my own makeup the other day too. So this is my second time doing my own makeup. Stop playing with me, okay? I think it looked decent for uh, someone who has no idea no idea what she's doing really the first part of this whole trip which was louisiana if you haven't seen that vlog make sure you go watch it that trip is really what like tipped me over not i wasn't upset or anything but i'm just saying i'm tired of struggling of having to find an mua in my louisiana trip it was like so last minute and no one was available so thankfully my line says lauren did my makeup there but i don't want to have to google or look up on instagram muas in the areas that i travel i want to be able to get up and go so enough of that um for my last day in the city i am about to go get brunch and then headed to the color factory hopefully they have tickets and a museum it's just a chill day like i have really enjoyed this experience oh let me show y'all the outfit of the day so if you can't tell by now i have been reworking outfits because 
this has been like a 10 to 12-ish day long trip for me and it's only so much I can take on the plane so yes I'm reworking stuff from my Louisiana trip from when I was in Dallas from when I was in DC so don't judge I mean people really shouldn't judge anyway because clothes are meant to be reworn let's stop Stop the facade, okay? People re-wear clothes. You don't buy clothes for one time thing. Anyway, back to the fit. Um, Y'all know I am a Shein girl. So everything from Shein except the shoes. Okay, ignore all that makeup right there. So it's just a basic little white tee. It says angels. On the back it says pure angels. Yeah, I got these cool little pants. They're kind of like camo, but they have like little details in them. I found them to be pretty cool. That's why I bought them. And then the shoes, I'm walking comfortably today in my phones. So I will see y'all at brunch. So I took the subway all the way from Queens to, I think this is Staten Island. Log on Google said that this was a free spot to check out the Statue of Liberty. It's a side view, but I see my girl. That's literally all I came out here to do. I mean, my girl, Miss Statue of Liberty, don't be liberating everybody, so. morning y'all it is like 3 30 in the morning i have to get up for my face is cut off because <laughs> i'm i'm barely put together i just had to come and speak to y'all before i left new york um thank y'all so much if you made it to the end of the vlog i can't even think i have to go to the airport and go home thank y'all for watching see y'all in the next video tell me what y'all thought about this whole travel series let me know. Hope to see you on the next video. Peace.